Hi there. You must be the UNESCO audience. I'm Noel Jarvis and I'm going to give you some information about Finland, the Petter de Vesey Old Church. Let's get into it. The old church is in Finland, Petrovesi, and has 7.4 acres of land all around. Petrovesi is next to Javaskila, which is also part of the central Finland region and has a population of at least 3,958 people. In Petrovesi, there are at least 99 lakes, with one of them being formed by a meteorite. The old church has its own history itself and was built out of logs in 1763 and 1765. Inside of the building, the high roof has a gothic style, which is the type of style they would use back then. They also used cross type floor plane, which was useful in the Nordic countries at the end of the 17th century and became common in the 18th century in the countryside churches. The old church was built under the instruction of a male carpenter, Jaco Clementin Poika Lapenin. He was a master carpenter. When the church was built, it did not have a bell tower until in 1821, when Jaco's grandson, Erki Jacon Hoika Lepenin built and applied one. Now, if you want to see what it was like inside the church, you know, what the type of style they use, how they um, made it, well, let's take a look at one, shall we? Let's take a look. So now that you got to um, see what it was, it looked like in on the inside, you really um, get an understanding of what it would have been like to have church services in there. Anyway, moving on. The old church wasn't so much discovered, but it was an architectural tradition unique to the eastern Scandinavia that has been passed down. Historians have been fascinated by this site and the church's design. It was built by the local Lutheran parish to use for church services. In 1879 a new building was built and so therefore the old church stopped getting used and became a historical place. The actual church building is only used in the summer. It would have been hard to build a church in the 1700s to create a clean and sustainable church. And in 1765, the church was very much a success. The most common material to use in the 1700s was wood. It took them two years, which to us nowadays is a very long time, isn't it? Two years to build a church. Anyway, um, I feel like we should change the scenery. So let's do that right now, shall we? <coughs> Yo, very unexpected pop up, but I just want to say that three quarters of my face was not showing in this scene and that is not very good and sometimes you could see my eyes bobbing down and not good not good yeah I should have double checked on what I was filming with but yeah I apologize for that and yeah let's get back to the video <clears throat> anyway, first of all, 
I'm just gonna say, you wanna see a picture? A picture, right here. That is the outside of the building. It looks like a church, it, it looks pretty nice actually. I would definitely have my services in there. The old church's property and buffer is legally protected, which is a good thing. You wanna protect the church? Climate change is sort of a risk, causing high increasing warmth, autumns and winters, which could harm the property's wood in construction, which is not good. Management has installed a fire alarm, a pump station, and an automatic extinguishing system. So, in case the church catches fire, you know, you want to protect it at all costs. This church is recognized by a few people and is said to be a beautiful place because of the church itself and its surroundings. Okay, so I have actually drawn my own map of the church and its surroundings. So let me just go get that really quickly. Okay, so here is my map that I have drawn. It's pretty nice actually, pretty nice. So, um, you can see here, it there is this place right here, like some some random place. I think it's like some kind of hotel, motel. I don't know. It is called Lemitillen Tiller. Pretty cool. And then there is a road here that goes all the way up there, and it's called Sitaria something. And then there's another road that leads down here. This road is called Van Hen Kirkontel. And then this is Petrovidan Vaha Kirko, AKA the Petrovesi Old Church is here. And then there's another place here called Soli Sorry. So yeah, this is um, the map that I have drawn. It's a very nice map, but moving on. So that's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you visit this place. It's a very nice place. It's a very nice church, and I would love to have my church service in there. That'd be very nice. These mozzies, I'm telling you. Anyway, my UNESCO fans, um, see you later, and... Stay lit. <laughs>